vision. Hello guys, this is exam tricks and today we are going to learn how to find HCF and LCM of any number within few seconds with some easy tricks. Okay, let us start. First of all, we will discuss what is the LCM and what is HCF. And, the, and then we will move towards the, some easy tricks to find out it within a second. Okay, so first of all, we will discuss what is HCF. HCF means highest common factor. Suppose we have to find the HCF of the given number like 24, 30 and 42. So first of all, we will find the factors of each number. Like the factors of 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. That means 2 raised to 3 into 3. Factors of 30 would be 2 into 3 into 5. And the similarly, the factor of the number 42 would be 2 into 3 into 7. So the product of the common prime factor of the given number would be 2 into 3 that means 6 and ultimately the HCF of 24, 30 and 42 would be 6. Now move towards the LCM. LCM means least common multiple. Suppose we have to find the LCM of the given number like 4, 6 and 12. So first of all we will find the multiples of each number. Like multiple of 4 would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 and so on. Multiple of 6 would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42 and so on and the multiple of 12 is equal to 12, 24, 36, 48 and so on. So the common multiple among the given numbers would be 12, 24, 36 and so on. So the least common multiple among the common multiples would be 12. So the answer would be 12. Here is the first trick. Trick number 1. Product of the given two numbers is equal to the product of their LCM and HCF. Let us take an example. Suppose given data like LCM of two number is 2079 and their HCF is 27. If the first number is 189, then find the other number. In this type of example, solution would be like this. Given data LCM is equal to 2079. HCF of two numbers is 27 and the first number is 189. So we have to find the second number. Now, according to our trick number one, product of two numbers is equal to multiplication of their HCM and LCM. So 189 into the second number is equal to 2079 into 27. So ultimately, the second number would be 2079 into 27 by 189. So is equal to 297. Now, the trick number 2. The 
the greatest number which divides the number x, y and z and leaving the remainders a, b and c respectively is given by HCF of x minus a, y minus b and z minus c. Let us take an example. Suppose we have to find the greatest number which divides number 29, 60 and 103 living reminders of 5, 12 and 7 respectively. So what will we will do? First of all given data is equal to x is equal to 29, y is equal to 60 and z is equal to 103. And similarly a is equal to 5, b is equal to 12 and c is equal to 7. Now according to our trick number 2. Required number would be HCF of 29 minus 5, 60 minus 12 and 103 minus 7. So the HCF of 24, 48 and 96. So first of all we will find the factors of each number like 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 and the factors of 48 would be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that means 2 raised to 3 into 2 into 3 and the factors of 96 would be 2 raised to 5 into 3. So the required HCF of the given number would be 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 1. So 8 into 3. Hence the required answer would be 24. Now the trick number 3. The greatest number which when divided by the x, y and z leaving the remainder a, b and c respectively is given by LCM of x, y, z minus k where k is equal to x minus a is equal to y minus b is equal to z minus c. Let us take an example of these tricks. Find the least number which when divides 24, 32 and 36 leaves the remainder 19, 27 and 31 respectively. So the given data is x is equal to 24, y is equal to 32 and z is equal to 36. a is equal to 19, b is equal to 27 and c is equal to 31. Now according to our trick number 3. k is equal to 24 minus 19 is equal to 32 minus 27 and is equal to 36 minus 31 which means 5. Required number would be LCM of 24, 32, 36 minus 5. So the LCM of 24, 32, 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 3 is equal to 288. So the required number is 288 minus 5 is equal to 283. Thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you want me to make more videos on the maths trick, then please do comment on the below section. Thank you for watching.